What's going on, party people? Jay Wilson here, and you are looking at a 100-gallon Universal Tanks breeding tank. I said tank quite a bit. But those are ruby red fish, and why are they in a breeding group? No way! Yes, way. Breeding is kind of the thing that I want to get into. I've done quite a bit of different things in the African cichlid hobby, and... One of them that I really enjoyed was breeding. It was fun. It was engaging. Everybody got into it. So we're getting back into it, which leads me to this. If you are struggling, if you're not into it, you're frustrated, you're disappointed, you don't like the look of your tank, at the end of the day, this is you. You got into this for reasons that were for you, whether it was relaxation, stress reduction, whether you had health issues, whether this was something to distract you from even worse things. Folks, you got into it for one reason. You can jump on any social platform and get videos and say, check it out, we've got the top 177.8 ways to keep your African cichlid tank the love of your life. Let me start by saying, number one is you have to, I'm going to end it there because here's the deal. It has to be for you anyways. You can get tips, tricks, and education, and DIY, and just ideas from anybody, from books to internet to social media platforms in general. But when it comes to it, at the end of the moment, at the end of the completion of this tank, one person puts more eyes on it than anybody, and that person is you. So own it, keep it, do what you do because you love it. Don't do what you do because it seems cool and other people are doing it. This is about you. Although the fish hobby is a community and it's about sharing, it is also a very selfish hobby in a sense that when it's all said and done, this is a masterpiece you created. You keep water and an amazing fish inside that water in a glass box, and I'm telling you, it's a direct representation of you. First weekend of November, aquatic experience, I'm representing North Fin, North Fin USA, Universal Rocks, and the American Cichlid Association. So check out all of us at the aquatic experience, and more importantly, go check out the American Cichlid Association booth. Please, folks, go get some information, learn about it, research, conservation, preservation, money back for projects all over the world to help the Cichlid Day genus. I'm telling you, be a part of something bigger than you. 35 bucks a year gives you information that you would not get on your own. And if you did get it, it was probably wrong because you found it on the internet. Okay. And if you found it on the internet, you're a jerk. <laughs> so folks, thank you. Leave in the comments what you think. What should we breed? What should we, what should we branch out to? Jake and I are really excited and we want you folks to kind of come along with us and give us ideas of what you think. Hit subscribe, share the videos, enjoy them, comment, be passionate about what you're doing because I sure as heck am passionate about this. Folks, the video is coming to an end. The ruby reds are getting feisty. The tank's looking lush, but I've got to reshape it for breeding. So this probably won't last this long. This is also a public service announcement to make sure that the thing you set up is for the exact thing you want to do and not have to break it down to do something completely different. Well, that's Jay Wilson, and that's how he lives. Mine goes in a million miles an hour, and his voice talks even faster and longer. You know what's next. Holla!